Mr. Anderson? That is the sound of your death. Dodge this. Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to Dreamsons! And today I'm gonna share with you guys how I build my 1-6 scale custom make the Matrix Trinity. As you can see, the figure looks fantastic! I love it! Although now they have a different available option you can buy online, but to build it myself, it brings me more joyful and satisfaction. If you're also a Matrix fan just like me, let's go through the journey together and make the dream come true! In this video, I'm gonna share with you guys where I get all the resources online, refine and customize it, and show you how to build a figure step by step. And I hope you can build it one for yourself too! Without further ado, let's the journey begin! Alright, here you can see all the material that I prepared to build my own custom made 160 of the Matrix Trinity. Every single part here I collected and buy online, and most of the information I have listed in the description below. Let's do a quick review and show you one by one. And the first, we get this Matrix Trinity figure from N2 Toys. They actually released years ago, and I get it in the good deals for only $35. The reason I get this one because I think the clothes can be reused. Most importantly, it's a shiny leather look like train coat. This is really hard to find online. As far as I know, they do have some custom made costume for 1-6 scale figures. Especially, they've done a fantastic job for Trinity train coat. But for me, this is the cheapest way to build it myself. The figure I get actually is pre-owned. Over here, he done a good job to keep this nicely. As we can see, the box actually preserved in a good conditions. Let's open up and check it out. Alright, here we can see the figure is actually the first feeling for me is like a Barbie doll. The good news is they are included leather belt, two pistol and the gun holder. They are made from leather. The costume on this figure is really nice. This figure included the shirt, trousers and the boots. Last but not least is the train coat. All mixed from a very shiny leather looks materials. Unfortunately, the back of the train coat has been damaged. I believe the cause is because the figure stayed in the box for too long. I'm not sure is there any way to fix it. If you guys know, please leave the comments below and let me know. And the boots is one of the major reasons I get this figure too. But when I look at the boot and the feet, I'm not sure can I reuse it. But anyway, I have already ordered a couple of different boots as a backup plan. And about the shirt and the trousers, I don't think I will reuse it because I need something built on elastic materials in order to get Trinity got the fully articulations for all different poses. Alright, yes, I gonna use the gel door figure again. It costs around $35. The reason is, I will build a sleepless bodysuit for Trinity and the shoulder will be show. In order to get the best result, I need to select from a streamless body type for this project. So far, this body type design that I think it fit what I'm looking for. I'm really happy with the articulation feature as well. This is not the first time I use Jaldor body. If you follow me, you have known I using the Jaldor figure for my Superman project as well. If you haven't seen it, you can check it out later or just click the link on the top right for the full review. In this female type figure, it's come with a similar accessory with a male figure. Included the main body, user menus, attachment accessory, bikini, different type of feet, figure stand, and also the handsets, which is come with the nail color that I need to remove them. And next is the elastic bodysuit. I get this online about $18. I select this one first because of the color. The shiny materials actually really close to a realistic Trinity costume. Second is the stress availability to ensure my custom made Trinity figure able to perform all classic action moves. And last but not least, I have found a very decent sculpted head sculpt, which is the actress of the Matrix Trinity, Carrie Ann Most. It costs about $27. If you search online, they actually have few options. So far, in my opinion, this is the best one. It's come with a realistic detail, and I really like the skin tone, the eyes, and all the makeup. 
This hair scalp also comes with the sunglasses. The sunglasses is made from plastic, which is not transparent. After fit the sunglasses to the hair scalp, it's not bad, but I have better options. Again, I asked my colleagues to build me another custom made 1 6 scale Trinity sunglasses. You wanna see it? Alright, I'll show you later. Okay, that's all the material I have to build this figure. Let's do it! First, we have to remove all the reusable materials from the Trinity figure. Start from the iconic train coat and the pistol. I think these two pistols are a bit smaller and thicker compared to normal 1 6 scale pistol that I have. Let's take a closer look with the train coat. We can see on this side, the collar has been stitched up that I will need to remove them. And the whole train coat looks great. I'm not sure what type of these materials is nice and thin, but definitely not leather. I really like this train coat. The design is accurate with the movie and come with lots of detail. We can see it's also come with button. Here is the damage on the back shoulders. It looks like the top shiny layer has been separated with the fabric. Alright, I also need those boots. I will try to remove it. Hopefully, it can be reused. Now, I face the challenge. Because the fabric is not leather, they are easy to crease. I really don't want to damage the boots. And the feet are not ball joint. It's hard to remove. All I can do is try to force it and break the leg. Hopefully, it will work. Hi, uh... Yes, I just break my coffee cup because of this. Seems like the boots is never gonna be reused because the feet is stay inside and they're not ball joint. There's no way I can reattach to my new figure. Luckily, I have backup order a couple pair of leather shoes. And next is the belt and the gun holster. I think I will redo the belts, but the buckle might can be reused. Mainly what I want is the gun holster. I believe it will work on my new figure. The gun holster seems damaged because of leather is too thin. Then I need to work on it. The belt definitely need to rebuild, but the buckle is seem too thick compared to the original reference. I will do a custom made buckle as well. Luckily, the gun holster look quite similar with the image. All I need just refine it to need to rebuild the whole thing. Let's start working on the bodysuit. My concept is I will create a belt on top of the bodysuit to fake it and make it look like two different pieces with the top sleeveless shirt and the trousers. I believe the most difficult part I have to cut the sleeve off based on the image reference. I'm not sure will it be damaged the bodysuit, but look at the fabric inside. It seems like even doesn't stitch or seal the fabric edge, it should be still can hold it nicely. Finger cross. Start with removing all the stitching between the bodysuit and sleeve. Alright, here I got both sleeves removed. Next, I have to trim the shoulder part, followed with the reference. But this is crucial, hopefully, it will work. I'm trying to do it as stable as possible and do it all at once. Hopefully, the edge will be end up nice and smooth. I will do a deeper curve on the front part and a bit flat at the back. Alright, here you go. It's not as good as I thought, but I think I did my best. Hopefully, the result will look good. Unfortunately, even though I didn't seal the edge of the fabric, it can still hold alright. The moment of truth. Let's dress it up. Three days later. To put on the suit, it's actually difficult than I thought. Because the figure is based on soft rubber, it's again the suit. I have tried silver method. At the end, I have to use the cream wrap paper from the kitchens, wobble up the feet in order to get the suit on. Oh yes, finally we done it. When I look at the result, I forgot how hard it was. And next, I need to drag all extra fabric from the side to the back. Just make sure the sleeveless shirt fit to the front nice and flat. All extra fabric can be folded inside right behind the figure. I'm actually using the body materials to hold the fabric nicely. I'm keep doing it, refine it until it presents the best result. And I use a tweezer to fold the extra fabric in on both sides so the edge will look smooth and nice. I'm so glad my theory works. The body suit work out perfectly. This suit is actually really really tight that you can see from the stitching on the side. Luckily, they are elastic. And the second thing is this figure is soft rubber so it's kind of corroborating well together. At the back of the shirt actually come with a very large buckle that I don't like. I need to remove it. 
The good news is after I removed it, they will not affect the zip up functions. By the visual, it looks a lot better. Let's do a quick comparison with the real persons. I'm really happy with the result. It looks quite accurate. Wow, here I got the most difficult part done about this figure. It looks nice and fit. That's what I'm really looking for. Even though it's really tight, she's still able to do all the iconic action pose. And now we do some comparison back to the original figure, the Barbie doll Trinity. And I have not much to say. The improvement and the difference is just speechless. Alright, next I'm gonna start working on the belts. Color and size follow by this reference. The width of the belt is around 7mm. Again, I create a belt with the unused mobile phone cover plastic. And I trim the size I need. And the rest I will keep it for future project. And I stick the silicate on both sides to stay the positions. And cut to the size I need. Actually, the belt width that I cut just around 5mm. Because I need to wrap it up with the black silicate. Carefully place it in place and stick it on. And we flip over and stick both sides in place. And last but not least, make sure to get rid of all the bubbles. This is the same method that I used to build my 1-6 scale custom-made Christopher Reed Superman. This is a very good idea because the belt will hold strongly and also can be bent. And the most importantly, they're rebuilt from used materials that we can do something to save the environment at the same time. Alright, let's start building the belt buckles. I'm using the paper clips as usual, flatten it and fold it in the corner, measure with the belt, make sure they are in the right side. And I fold it again until this is how it looks like. That is what we need. And then I trim away the extra. And here we have the bell buckles. Let's put it on and have a look. It looks convincing. I'm happy with it. And now we need to stick the bell end with the buckles. I'm using a shoe screw to seal the edge, like so. And then stick them together. And I secure it with another black silicate. And I use the clips, make sure it stays in place. Let the glue dry, it will be ready in a couple minutes. And now we can try on the fitting, just like regular bell. The thickness of the bells is strong enough to hold the position and it looks great. And next, what we need is the bell holder. This glossy material bag I found in local store and I cut the bag off to build my belt holder. This is not the same type of materials, but I think it will work because of the shiny and glossy. First, I trim a thin stripe based on the material it should hold well itself and the size and materials will look good on the belt. So I cut it short with a few stripes that with the links I need. And I compare with the reference where the holders should stay. When the position right, I mark it with the sellotape and then I glue it together. And I stick this side with the sellotape, make sure it holds in the positions. I also set this belt holder a bit loose because the end of the belt, we need to go through this. It's look good and next, all we need is trim the other end. Just make sure I don't trim it too short, I mark it down with the marker pen. Also, we need to add another few belt holder. I using the same method to stick them together, add on the sealer tape but without locking in play. So, I can move the belt holder anywhere I want. After, I fit into the figure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that's all we need. As I say, after fit into the figure, I'm still able to move the belt holder, make adjustment anytime. And then we trim the end of the belt with the round corner. Alright, next job, we need to fit the gun holder to the belt. But the gun holder is seem damaged and I need to fix it. First, I'm using a heavy duty black masking tape, place the gun holder on top with it as a replace to hold the gun holder better. And I trim away the extra. I need to leave the top part like this and I fold it in like so. And I trim away all extra and refine it. And again, I use the plastic cover, cut it to the pieces I wanted. The concept is I put this belt folded into the gun's holder in order to let the belt go through it. And then I rub it up with the black sealer tape, just like how we do the belt. Place it in and get the right measurements. This is how we need. After, I will fold it and trim away the extra and stick it with another sealer tape from inside the gun holder. And now we can try to put the gun inside to see the result. It looks good. Next, we need to seal this part. 
And again, I'm using the shoe screw. Stick it together. And hold it with the clip. And leave a minute, let the glue dry. To make sure it's secure in place, I use the black sealer tape to lock it down. I did the same with the other gun holster. Now it's the time to fit them to the belt. Here we have the belt and the gun's holder complete. I'm really happy with the result. This is the moment of truth. Let's fit it to the figure. Final result, it looks amazing. I'm so glad. I think it works really well and actually better than I thought it would be. I won't say 100% accurate, but so far it's quite convincing, isn't it? Please let me know what you think and leave the comments below. After fitting a pistol to the gun holster, it looks good. Although the shirt and trouser is one piece, but divided by the belt, it looks convincing. The train coat is not bad, but I still want to do something because this doesn't come with the wire, so I will not satisfy if I want to do any posting. In order to get it to do some dynamic post, I will custom edit the wire into the train coat. This is the wire, I get it from local hardware shop. Surround the edge of the train coat, there is a material folding side. I will hide the wire into the folding side and stick it on instead of cutting it off or damage the coat and I think it should work. After measurement done, I apply the shoe screw and fit the wire into the folding side like so. Just need to be careful, don't leave the glue outside the coat. If not, they will look messy. And I carefully fold the side using a tweezer, cover the wire. If any, unfortunately, you leave the glue outside the coat, after they dry, you can remove that. That's why I suggest to use shoe screw. All right, it's done from this part now. And next, we need to do the vertical part and the other side of the train coat as well, with the same method. Right, finally the Dynamics train coat has done. So now you can fold in the corner on the lower side of the train coat to create any dynamic pose. I think this is the best way to add a wire to the train coat because it's not involving any cutting or cause any damage. Let's put the train coat on and see the result. It's all look good, only the collar seem a bit too thick. I need to push it down, do some adjustment, it will look better. The gel door body handset actually all with the red nail color painted. So I will need to remove that for this Trinity figure. And I also saw some molten mark there and I get rid of them simply using the folding tools. And here you see I got two types of thinner. One is originally for nail polish and the other one I get in the hardware shop mainly for the paint purpose. I start with the proper nail polish remover but it seems not working at all. So I need to change my method, try on the other one. This thinner is cheaper but smells stronger. Usually we will see this one when someone house refurbishings or doing some heavy painting job. And now we can see it is effected instantly. It melted all the red color paint just simply apply. All I need just keep doing it and clean it up. Yeah, I think it's worked well. And now we see the difference. The nail polish has been removed completely. Here you go, all the handset nail color has been removed. The good news is, the hand is molded in the same color, so it will not get affected. Alright, all the extra boost and costume has just arrived. And at the same time, I have also bought this leather jacket. The reason I get this, because it looks great. It's not exactly the same design with what Trinity wear in the movie. But I can use it to recreate the Trinity running on the rooftop scene. These two items come in a set, leather jacket and also the leather trousers. And it costs about $19. But I don't think I will use the trousers, so I keep it on site for future project. And this is the boots that I'm not able to reuse. But I got two set of boots as a replacement. And this one with the lace up, both of them are high heel boots, and it costs about three dollar per pair. And the other one actually with the buckle. If you remember, the neo boots also come with the buckles, so I decided to use this one. The boot actually molded from rubber. On the top part, it looks a bit messy. I will need to do something with this. I simply carefully clean it up with the cutter, remove all the excess. And I smooth it, simply heat it up by the lighter. But make sure it don't get too close, you don't want to burn it. And now it looks nice and smooth. Alright, I have done both of them, and now ready to fit. In Jiaodo figure, they come with 3 pair of different type of feet. You can select to fit in. The first, I'm using this one because I thought it's a high heel. And then after that, I realized it's really hard to go through. Maybe because the boot rubber is too thick and they stuck in the middle. I'm not able to do it, so I have to change another style of fit. This one is a flat fit with the toes on, and hopefully it will fit alright. 
it happened again a bit struggle but finally I able to fit it in and now you can see from inside now we put the boost on the figure after that you need to push up make sure you feel the clicks that's mean the ball joint has connected good news is the boot is not too hard so the heel is still able to do some side tilting and the joint able to hold the pose quite nicely let's do the other one as well surprisingly the boots looks great only the color is not shiny enough now we have all materials ready let's put it on inside the head scalp you'll find this part i usually join it with this part first before i put the head scalp on just in case i'm doing too hard and cause any damage all right here we go we have trinity on the house it looks good isn't it i really like the sleeveless shirt trinity looks especially on the rooftop scenes when she point the gun on the agent hat and say dodge this it was so cool yes last but not least the most importantly is the sunglasses that is the souls of matrix character and here I got the custom made 1-6 scale the Matrix Trinity sunglasses they make for my colleagues alright guys let's get a closer look and see how crazy is this and she told me so far this is the hardest sunglasses to make it's so much detail and really small the width is about 2cm and the depth is just over 1cm and I really like the glossy shiny finish and their transparency I really appreciate the efforts she made alright without further ado let's put it on it's really small even though I feel hard to put it on Alright ladies and gentlemen Here is the Dream Zone custom make 1-6 scale The Matrix Trinity Complete no! Let's do some comparison. I have mentioned my 1-6 scale custom made Christopher Reeve Superman. The Superman is slightly taller, even though next to a superhero, she still looks so cool. And the next is the couple comparison. Next to her is my custom made 1-6 scale The Matrix Neo. I was so amazed how it looked like. Although this two figure original body is not made from the same company, Trinity figure is quite tall, but still a bit shorter than Neo. It makes it the best match. Alright, here we have my custom make 1-6 scale The Matrix Agent Smith Surprisingly, Agent Smith with Trinity is about the same tall I'm not sure actually how tall is Hugo Waving But compared with Trinity, the visual is quite acceptable Before I start this project, I simply based on the visual and theory Search the material I need online So far I know, in the market, they actually doesn't have anyone to do this before And hopefully after you watch this video, you will get an idea to do your ones better but don't forget to leave the comments below and share with me because the trinity with the leather jacket was so cool and i really want to see how she looks on the bike that's why i decided to make her one custom make one six scale motorcycles i will all the way share with you how i did it and the final result you will see at the end of this video if you like it make sure you stay tuned all right here's the wrap and thanks again for stay until now if you like this video please give the thumbs up share and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you won't miss the coming soon video i'll see you soon